Hello. Hey, gorgeous alchemists and all the beautiful souls that are watching this. I wanted to bring a special treat to you today. This is my beautiful soul brother, John Croft. He is the author of The Cacao Addict. I'll put the link in the comments below for you to obtain this book. It is the best book on the planet. The recipes are so simple, you can make them in your home and they end up like the glorious photo that he's taken. It's not one of those books that True has story. this beautiful photo and then the recipe and you're like, huh, what's that? Yes. They're actually real. They've been recipe tested and they're amazing. So today, he's been dreaming up this creation and today he's going to share it with you. We bought these really beautiful um, roasted, roasted almonds. almonds from France. On the road, on Because we're touring Europe at the moment yes. with these beautiful essential oils and our cacao creations and retreats yeah, and meditation. And, um, and he's going to share this with you. So get ready. This is going live to the page, but you'll be able to watch it again and again and again. Um, so feel free to just watch it later and just relax right now. He's going to explain about the superfoods, their benefits, because of course this isn't just cacao. Yeah, There's going to be some other beautiful superfoods. I won't give it away now, but sit tight. And of course our beautiful therapeutic grade pure essential oils from doTERRA. And you know that the only essential oils I advocate to flavor our food with are doTERRA essential oils. So today we are featuring tangerine and cinnamon bark. So get ready for some zest, some warmth, and pachow in the heart, some mouthgasmic experiences, and utter mm -hmm. deliciousness. I love you guys Thanks, so gorgeous. much. Have fun with John. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to my kitchen in Italy. I've got two cameras, one here and Noel is also, my beautiful partner here, is filming me at the same time. Um, so welcome to our gorgeous kitchen from Lierna, which is on Lago di Como. Um, we could flick that around, but we'll do that a little later maybe. So yeah, look, Vanessa's right. The whole inspiration about coming to the, um, the play with my book, Cacao Addict, was to create recipes that were simple to make, that were nutritious, that aren't just going to fill you up and then make you feel awful and have a horrible sugar crash afterwards. So it's simple, it's beautiful, and it's clean eating. I'm all about clean eating. So these recipes are nutrient dense. They have some unusual ingredients. I actually feature about 19 different superfoods within the book. And I'm all about eating food that makes you feel good. It actually nourishes your, your body, uh, gives you heaps of energy, and just, you know, overall, makes you feel good and we all love chocolate right so this is the best chocolate raw cacao so what I need to do first um, for this recipe is that I only use Peruvian organic cacao so uh, in my opinion the best cacao comes from Peru there's a lot of other um, cacao out there around the world I've tried Indonesian I've tried African I've tried Australian there's a whole bunch but I always come back to Peruvian this is a sustainably sourced cacao it just has the chemistry about where it grows the rainfall the altitude the soil there's just so much magic in Peru and I'm yet to get there I can't wait to get there so that's on my bucket list but for now I will um, live vicariously through the products I buy from Peru but I'll get there one day so this is cacao butter so this is basically the clarified chocolate fat that needs to be melted all right so this is what it looks like before it goes into the thermomix or the double boiler or the bimbi or the bimbi in Italy it's called the bimbi so what I'm going to do just for a second I'll go over there and put in the, co uh, the cacao butter but I'm also going to be putting in some coconut oil here as well this is a little jar I sneakily brought over from Australia with me um, a lovely brand that I like to support within Australia it's called Loving Earth so you can get that stuff, that yummy good stuff, if you're in Australia and New Zealand. And I think even Europe and America are getting into it now. It's lovingearth.net. If you check out there, it will um, flick between your uh, region of where you are in the world. So coconut oil needs to be melted. We are in summer. This baby is liquefied already. However, the cacao butter is not. So I'm just going to disappear there for a second and put this in. So maybe, Vanessa, can you talk just for a sec while I do that? <laughs> Come over and talk. Because otherwise you're going to see my back and I'll be like, hey. So what's really beautiful is, is we use really wholesome fats. This is whole food cooking or rocking at its best. When you use essential oils in your food, it's really important you combine them with a fat because they bind themselves to a fat and this increases their bioavailability, okay? So we tend to, like, um, like John was saying, we use organic cacao and coconut oil. Actually, 
everything we purchase is organic or biodynamic. So we're always sourcing locally. We're trying to give back to the community we're living in, living in at the time. And also we just try and source the most outstanding quality. So I as well am a huge fan of Peruvian cacao. This is the cacao powder. You'll find it in different brands. Um, this happens to be the brand that um, John has at the moment, which is Power Superfoods. But back home in Australia, there's Loving Earth that you can use as well, um, which was the coconut oil that he mentioned. So fats are incredible for our immune system. They're antiviral, antifungal, oh, sorry, the coconut oil as a fat. They're antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial. And it's really going to support your immune system. And the essential oils we have here are great for those in the southern hemisphere with winter happening. And those um, in the summer, we're still we're looking at restoration, keeping ourselves nice and strong. So these are going to be infused really beautifully. Gorgeous. Thank you, gorgeous. Okay, so while that's melting, I just figured it would be boring for you to be watching my back while I was just setting that. So on the Thermomix, I don't like to put anything on bin bin. I don't like to put anything above 50 degrees because cacao butter or cacao paste and coconut oil are alive. There's stuff in there that's actually alive. It's got heaps of good juju in there. So you really want to keep the, um, the particles that are in that in a state that they're not going to be boiled to death, you know? So I keep, when I'm melting these two, I keep them at a low temperature just to increase the, the, um, the health um, properties as well. So while they are melting, I'm going to be talking, oh, um, five minutes roughly you're looking at, four or five minutes. I'm going to be talking about some of the other unique things that I'm putting into this um, creation of mine. So a lovely Australian company called Superfeast, you see that there? I've been searching for a really, really, really long time to try to get the best, um, the, the best quality of medicinal mushrooms. So these guys are operating out of New South Wales. And let me see if I can see the small writing here. It's a mixture of chaga, reishi, cordyceps, miyaki, shiitake, lion's mane, agura, probably pronouncing all of these wrong, perea. It's, it's a collection of medicinal mushrooms. So medicinal mushrooms have been around forever in Chinese medicine. They are, um, they are graded as an adaptogenic herb, meaning that your body relies, your body system relies on these incredible herbs to provide the body systems to flourish at their best um, their best um, they're optimum. They're, uh, optimum thank you that's the word I'm thinking of yeah. they're optimum so you can put a teaspoon of this into smoothies don't worry it doesn't taste like mushrooms whenever it's in a chocolate you cannot even distinguish the taste of the chocolates uh, of the um, the mushrooms but it just provides that incredible boost to your immune system it's an incredible digestive booster amazing in them. chocolate raw chocolate shroom ice cream and the kids oh want God, them. Yes. it just tastes so good and then yeah. you can caramelize cacao nibs in some maple syrup yeah. and it's a mouth and you, people don't know about this stuff and i was searching so if you want to get to the the, the, the in my opinion the best ones in australia it's superfeast.com.au they operate out of manly in sydney so i'm just going to be putting a small teaspoon of this um, when the batter is is mixed so that's one of my my famous um little additives that I put into some of the, the chocolate that I make. And the other one here is, of course, beloved maca, M-A-C-A, maca, maca. See that there as well. This has got a really yummy, citrusy, malty kind of um, flavor smell to it. It's, um, it's incredible in smoothies. I also put it into juices. Of course, uh, practically most chocolate recipes that I make, I like to incorporate a teaspoon of maca into that. It is really good for balancing out your hormones, male or female. It's a great balancer um, of uh, blood sugar. It's also a really good um, balancer for, for men and women. It's a, it's a great tonic for sleep. It's a great body tonic. It's an all over body tonic for a lot of, a lot of body systems. Uh, maca is a radish root. It's actually a root that comes from South America and it's, it's used as a flavoring for a lot of foods, but pre predominantly aphrodisiac and a hormone um, balancer. So terrific for uh, men and for women. So whenever I put it into my chocolates, it tends to just bring a uh, multi flavor to it, but it, it also thickens the batter 
So it's, it just adds to that yummy consistency. I really, really love putting maca into all of my chockies. So you guys, this is really beautiful. You see in some of our creations to make like a raw caramel chocolate, like a caramelly mm. filling with some tahini and maca. It's really, really, really wholesome. Great in your smoothies and yep. in your smoothie bowls that some of you might be making at the moment. Totally, totally. I actually like to put it into a base of dates. So I whiz up some dates with some coconut flakes and I put a teaspoon of this in with some vanilla and it just makes the whole, oh, the whole thing is just off the chart. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, I know that sound, that sounds like the Thermomix finishing. So yeah, put a bit of vanilla, um, the dates and the a bit of salt and also the coconut flakes with some maca. It's this most incredible caramel um, taste you've ever tasted. I'm putting in- Sophie will answer your questions um, in the chat afterwards. Okay, perfect. I'm putting in some beautiful, this is a present from my beloved who is behind here, it's Vanessa. She gave this to me my when beloved. I was in Australia. Oh, and she, that's <laughs> me. Um, and I could not wait to bring it, I could not leave, leave this at home. It was like, you are coming with me, Vanilla. It is Madagascan vanilla extract that is in beautiful invert sugar. So this stuff, I don't know if you can see in there, this stuff is the bomb. This is next level vanilla so I just put a small amount it's got little tiny seeds of that vanilla in there it is so good so I don't know if you can see this here I'll try to get that yep perfect it there. it's kind of like this golden beautiful golden color so the cacao butter has melted the um, coconut oil was already melted so now we're just going to be putting in a I'm pretty liberal with it I probably might just do a big scoop this is a half a half a cup measure so what I put in before of the cacao butter was about the same. So I'm going to do another half a cup here. If you wanted a cup cup, that's going to be a full 100% cacao. This will still be 100% cacao, but it won't be so much you know, of the same stuff. So I've put that in there. Here's my teaspoon of this beautiful um, medicinal mushrooms powder. So this is kind of what it looks like here. Up there. See, yeah, you can see it's coming brown. It's got all those good adaptogenic herbs in there. I have pre-ground some white salt. This is actually um, a different kind of salt. It's actually Persian salt, which is what I can use in Europe. Well, it's Persian blue. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. So Himalayan salt is good. You can also use um, Celtic sea salt, whatever, whatever you choose. I do like to put a decent pinch into my chocolates. It just makes the flavor. So I'm going to put all of this in. It's about two, two small pinches of, of um, sale. We have got the beautiful um, maca here too, a teaspoon of this. I'm pretty generous with my maca because I, I love the Me too, it's the taste. delicious. It is so, so good. So maybe a little more. Thanks, Bella. Here is the um, maple syrup. And we have to thank Cardi for this. Yeah, thank you, Cardi. <laughs> this, kind of, <laughs> this kind of came back um, with us. We didn't realise it went, oh, this came back all the way from, um, Yay, from France. Chocolate. This is Ansi, Ansi um, Canadian maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really particular about the maple syrup that I source. It must be organic. Never fall for or, um, maple flavoured syrup. It's just going to be Eat. toxic, horrible... Um, Disgustingness. Yeah, not not real. Not going to be the same stuff. It's probably going to be fake and um, full of flavouring. It's full of artificial. Of using raw synthesised oils that are disguising themselves as essential oils. Ah, yeah. Don't do it. To and so, don't use golden syrup. Not so the same. Terrible. You're better off using a raw, unprocessed honey if you don't have maple syrup. Absolutely. I said absolutely. Blood of the Hey, little tip too. If you're ever um, measuring out coconut oil first and you need a like either honey or maple syrup to yeah. go into the, the, um, the container or the, the quarter of a cup measure, always put your coconut oil in first yeah. because then your maple syrup or your honey comes out like a dream. <laughs> I do that too. It's so good. A little tip. Vanilla. A little splash of the, the decadent vanilla because this is just so good. And I'm savouring this baby because this, you know, that's all I've got to last me. But Vanessa will bring you back more, right? Yes. Here we go. Tangerine. This is that yeah. beautiful tangerine. They only source from the peel. So this stuff is so incredibly strong. It's so beautiful. It's got that citrus note. And I want this to really pop. So I'm gonna put in about 10 drops of this. Eight, nine, 
You've really found 11, that the 12, cacao over 13, 14 drops. <laughs> the it's cacao it. over here is a lot stronger, isn't it? So you're needing to use it more. Is, it is. It's true. In Australia, I would actually put less. But over here, because of the cacao that is um, over in Europe, it seems to be stronger. So I need to put a little more in. And this is our incredible cinnamon bark here. Yeah. I know this is sourced from Indonesia. doTERRA care about where they get their stuff from, their oils are sourced from, only from their indigenous country. So and Madagascar as well, isn't it? They're getting, is it Madagascar and Indonesia? I think they're getting I'm not that. sure. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I know, I know um, um, Indonesia is one of them, but possibly they're sourcing from all over. I'm going to put four of the cinnamon in just to make that flavour pop. A little tip with adding oils into food, never look away. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you could end up with more than you bargained for. Now, these are the, the mystery ingredient that we were talking about. Thanks, hon. Yeah, I'll have a sip in a sec. We picked up these in France just before we were coming over to um, Italy for some classes and having some fun over here. And they've got this incredibly roast. They look like they're activated already, so they've already been you know, come to life and plumped up with water and um, dehydrated. But they've also had a slow roast to them, so they've got this most crunchy pop. You know those really decadent almonds you just put in your mouth and they just crack open and they're so crunchy and so nice. So like Vanessa said, I've been dreaming of these um, for the last two nights going, I need to make, I need to make, I need to make. So we just finished doing another live and it was like, I'm doing this. So we're doing it. So I'm going to put in, I don't even know how many were there. It was just almost the, um, the whole bag. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to put it onto the Thermomix. The Thermomix or the Bimbi, they have a reverse function. So I don't want these babies to be uh, chopped up at all. I want them to stay whole for that texture. It was about so 300 grams. About 300 grams? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. apart from what we scoffed. No, in no, the no, car. I've taken that off. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We scoffed the 200 grams and there's 300 left. So don't want to chop these. If you do, it's up to you, but you'll end up with a different um, end product. Okay, so once they are, thank you, Vanessa's going to pop that in there. So you want, I'm all about consistency, so put it on the reverse, and you just want to mix this through. It doesn't need a lot, maybe you know, a minute, under a minute, and it will, it will do its thing, mix everything through, and you'll be laughing. So I want to talk about, there's many, many different ways that you can put your chocolates into, like for the finished product. You can do chocolate moulds, you can do patty tins, you can do them on plates with grease proof paper, you can do all sorts of things. For me, I'm all about simplicity, and I'm all about travelling with things, so this puppy comes with me everywhere. This is a, um, a Tupperware freeform. Thanks Michelle if you're watching this, my cousin is in Perth. This is probably one of the best things I've ever bought because it's just so versatile and so amazing. It's dishwasher safe, it's a good sign of a silicon if you bend it like this and you don't see any white. It means there's no toxic crack in there, it's a good a good silicon. So this baby comes with me. Always a good trick to do is to put it onto a tray like this because if you don't do it, I learnt this one the hard way, if you put it on your, your, your bench, you put everything in, you're about to carry it to the fridge or the freezer, because it's rubbery, the weight of it will go and you end up with it either all over you or all over the floor, which you don't want to waste your cacao, right? So on a tray, it's good. So, yeah, yeah, thanks darling. Think. Look at that. Is that enough? Oh, God, yes, that's perfect. And okay. We do a smell test. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, it's like heaven, heaven, heaven. Are you ready for this pour? Cover to do this so it doesn't fall. Sound, um, sound Can you hear that sound? Let's go. Bello. Buonissimo. I'm going to leave some in there so we can lick the thermomix <laughs> Of course. So you give it a bit of you know, a juj. And that's pretty much it. Move that around a little bit. Oh my bit. god, that tastes amazing. Good. Should we crack some salt over the top? Yes. Dun, dun, dun. This is a little trick that we do. And it tantalizes the taste buds so beautifully. So some of that will kind of sink in, yeah, and then the rest stay on stays top. on top, and your taste buds just go zing. And then mind? the sweetness and the false sweetness of both the tangerine and cinnamon bark essential oil come yep. in. 
So we've used Beautiful. maple syrup as a sweetener, but remember vanilla and cinnamon are false sweeteners that Mother Earth gives us. So that's going to be zhuzhed up and then mm -hmm. the zestiness of mm -hmm. the citrus. And we have a mouthgasm waiting to happen. Gorgeous. You know what I love about when I shared with Italians here last year, because this is our second stint that we've come to live in Italy um, for six months and then six months in Australia, building our doTERRA business, sharing our passion, hanging out with friends, making yeah. new friends, sharing with, with people, is that... A lot of people go, oh no, chocolate, I can't eat chocolate. It's like, no, 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 I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get fat or it's not healthy. Mm. And I say, please, please try my chocolate. It's something that is very unique and very different. And when they taste that and I assure them that it's got all the goodness inside and it's not full of fats and it's not dairy, it's not processed, it's not full of all the sugar, that they, their faces are always the same because it just melts away to nothing and they can never stop at one. <laughs> They're like, Oh, they're so good. So it's, okay. it's the whole reassurance. I'm right? going to have a breakfast because he's so amazing. So this is what it looks like when John makes them in the molds. So we've got the Cleopatra and the Flower of Life molds, which have which essential oils? Uh, frankincense, cardamom, and wild orange. And then we have these beautiful babies. They're the shape of violets, which yeah, have peppermint. And peppermint and lemon myrtle. And lemon myrtle, yeah. right? And I think blue so, was in these yes. and bee pollen was in these. And bee pollen, that's right. Complete protein. So you can have a lot of fun with these. This is a great way to get um, superfoods into family members that maybe aren't eating them. Yes. And Sneak for those of you that... Um, um, feel like you crave this kind of stuff too much especially women that time of the month I want you to know that cacao speaks to us mm -hmm. and we're drawn to her during that time of the month to help ease the contractions because you know magnesium is one of the gifts cacao brings manganese there's also you know this yummy hit that we receive mm -hmm. with cacao that you're not getting in the same way from crappy chocolate yeah cocoa it ain't um, the same it's not the same no, you know so it's setting off that yummy love chemical like when you first yep. fall in love and you just want to dance and create in life again so you guys i'm going to put the link for john croft's amazing book the cacao addict in um this this post Let's tell them where they up. can where they can get this. And for those that are in Italy, send a message and come along to their classes. John's doing beautiful cacao classes here. You know, we're doing them all the time. We had one here today with some friends. Absolutely. Just yummy gatherings. Yep, yep, yep. So you can go to Amazon.com. You can purchase it through uh, in Europe. So it will send uh, most places in Australia, <laughs> Europe, UK. Yes. Uh, we're working on getting it into Europe. I tell you, it's, it's, it's quite a challenge, but we will get there. So yeah, um, Amazon UK at this stage, so all just in UK. And Amazon in US, all over US of A. And of course, our Shanti Star, John and Noel, which is our main page. So shantistar.com or our Facebook page, links to the books there, um, anywhere in Australia and New Zealand we post to. But yeah, it's, um, it was an absolute treasure to do and, and it still keeps uh, on going it's almost it's, a year on now it's, it's still, a beautiful it's still book flying. it belongs on a recipe stand in your kitchen the photos are exquisite it's very simply laid out yeah. it's not too much of anything anywhere did we miss anything Noel? okay so i'm, I'm going to put it. the link in this post for you for the food alchemy um, followers here and we'll send one for your page Absolutely. as well thank you, thank this you. can set we'll just to say yeah this. we will this can set in the fridge or freezer yeah. what's really good about the chocolates when you make them once you make them is you can partition them in small containers pop them in the freezer and just you know take them out for guests as and when you want yes, yeah we'll keep them in the fridge we'll we'll eat them yeah, only the more to yourself. Them. You'll find that you actually need a lot less when you're eating cacao though, right? Yes. It really sates you. It has that beautiful bitter aspect to it, which is dealing with a whole other area of our palate, our mm. taste buds, mm -hmm. that often isn't addressed. We tend to, in the Western world, shy away from bitter, you know, from sour. Yeah, We're absolutely. a bit used to sour, but pungent and bitter we tend to stay away from, yeah? yeah? yeah. I mean, like, we so, could not go down the line of normal chocolate. Uh, we are hanging out for chocolate. We even tried some, some chocolate in Switzerland and it still just doesn't cut it. We're sorry, just like, mm, to my you know. Swiss friends. Yeah, I'm we sorry. love you guys. I know that you have, yeah. Some come and this. try, come and try our chocolate. Yes. Okay, you Very guys, different. so we love you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to our special guest. I wasn't uh, commanding myself. Do I've been dirty my, my little shirt. How's that? <laughs> Thank you to our special <laughs> guest, for John in. Croft. Oh, can I just add, if you don't have a Bimbi or a Thermomix, his book will also show you how to do the double yeah. boiler method. You can make this in a bowl. It's super easy. Yep, Head over to 
sorry. my YouTube, Food Alchemy with Vanessa. Oh no, sorry, the YouTube is um, Paul and Vanessa Jean. Yes. And I've got quite a few live, very short videos on how to make bliss balls, cacao, dress up your bliss balls and basically have yeah. fun with life. Yeah. If there are any questions, I'll get on now and I'll address them. But basically, I love you all. Thank you for joining us live. Viva la cacao! Yay! And viva l'Italia! Yeah, viva l'Italia! Okay, you guys, we love you. Ciao, arrivederci! Ciao, 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 ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao. ciao, ciao. <laughs>